Hello, and welcome to 10 Minute Mastery. In this session, we will review debits and credits. This is part five, solving even more transactions using debits and credits and T accounts. By the end of this 10 Minute Mastery, you will be able to solve transactions with the use of T accounts while applying the concepts of debits and credits in accounting. Let's review what we know from the debits and credits mastery videos in parts one through four. This one is part five. What we already know is that debit only means left and credit only means right. For every debit, there must be a credit. For the T account, the left side is the debit side while the right side is the credit side. We also know that we will debit all that comes in and credit all that goes out. Let's briefly review how debits and credits will impact certain accounts. For the assets, debits will increase while credits will decrease. For the liabilities, debits will decrease while credits increase. For owner's capital, debits decrease while credits increase. And for the expenses, debits will actually increase while the credits will decrease those accounts. Using what we have learned, let's work some additional business transactions. Please know that these are new business transactions and they are different from the prior debits and credits videos. Example one, business transaction. Paid cash for the purchase of land in the amount of $8,000. The accounts impacted are cash and land. These are two asset accounts. We will credit cash in the amount of $8,000. This credit will decrease the cash account. We will debit land for $8,000. This debit will increase the land account because this is an asset and debits increase assets. Example two, business transaction. Paid cash to a part-time office clerk for two weeks of wages in the amount of $1,300. This business transaction impacts the cash account and wages expenses. You can see here we have a debit and credit, and you can also see here that business, this business transaction impacts two accounts. The first thing we will do is credit cash in the amount of $1,300. This credit to cash will decrease the account. For the wages expense, we will debit this account in the amount of $1,300 and debits to expense accounts increases those accounts. Example three, transaction. Paid cash for the following expenses. Rent expense in the amount of $1,300. Utilities expense for $230 and advertising expense for $75. This is sort of um, a combined transaction. This transaction actually impacts four accounts and that's okay. You can see here we have debits and credits and all of our debits when we add them up equals our credit. So the accounts that are impacted here are cash, rent expense, utilities expense, and advertising expense. So we'll just make one credit entry for cash in the amount of 1,605, and this credit entry decreases the cash account. We're also going to make three debits to these three expense accounts. And these debits will actually increase these expense accounts. So we've made a debit to rent expense in the amount of 1,300. We have a debit to utilities expense for 230. 
and we have a debit to advertising expense for $75. This transaction impacts four accounts. Again, it's also dealing with debits and a credit. Um, all of the debits added together equal this credit. So we stay in balance here. Example four, transaction. It was determined that the cost of supplies on hand at the end of the month was $800. Supplies used during the month was 400. That's the amount we're going to use that $400. This $400 impacts the supplies and the supplies expense account. We'll record the transaction like this. For the supplies account, we're going to credit $400. This will decrease the supplies account. For supplies expense, we will debit $400, and this will increase the supplies expense account. Last transaction for this mastery. Example five, business transaction. Discovered a defective item of equipment previously purchased from Arctic Company. The item was returned to the supplier who agreed to reduce the amount charged for the item by $40. This specific transaction impacts accounts payable Arctic company and the equipment account. Um, you should know that the equipment account is an asset account. So here's how we'll handle this transaction. We'll do a $40 debit to accounts payable. Arctic company, and this decreases that account. And we'll credit the asset account equipment for $40. This $40 credit to this asset account decreases the account. That's the end. Thank you for viewing. Feel free to leave any comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like.